Let's talk about soy milk and the concern that a lot of people have that it will produce feminization in males. And this comes from the fact that soy products and soy milk contain isoflavones, which are also known as phytoestrogens. They bind on the estrogen receptors. According to this meta-analysis from 2021, looking at thousands of men, both in the United States and the United Kingdom, they have seen that regardless of the dose of soy products consumed or the duration of consumption, there is absolutely no effect on the level of blood testosterone, free testosterone or total testosterone or estrogen levels in these men. So it's time to put this myth to rest. What's the positive side of soy milks? You can start with their caloric content, which is significantly less than in regular milk. We can look at their fat profile. Only 12% of fat in soy milk is of the saturated fat kind. It has zero cholesterol. And when it comes to vitamin D, vitamin B12, calcium, most manufacturers enrich soy milk with similar amounts of these micronutrients that you can find in regular milk. I'm Dr. Gilly. I hope I stimulated your curiosity to try some soy milk. If you haven't, follow me for more.